What is up, guys? It's APC. It's been about two long weeks since I have uploaded. I mean, life is crazy currently, stuff with the coronavirus. I mean, guys, stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, Try to have good personal hygiene. Washing your hands. Being clean. Okay. So we'll be doing jazz programming in Khan Academy. And over the two long weeks I've been thinking, why am I teaching you guys challenges in Khan Academy? I mean, that's not really useful. So I'm gonna teach you guys like um like straight like let's say I'm teaching you guys if statements. I'm not gonna use the challenges. So yeah. So type in as we always do in Khan Academy. Click on the first thing you see. Then, to make a new program, you will want to um, type in computer programming as we always do. Then, it brings us to this page, and we want to scroll all the way down and click on new JavaScript program because that's the language that we're using currently. So, we're using JavaScript. So, you can also name your program. So I will name this. We're gonna learn today mouse interactions. So mouse inter interactions. And now we save it. Uh, kind of takes a while. Oh, there we go. Okay, mouse interactions. What does mouse interactions currently consist of? So it consists of mouse x mouse y and yeah that's what we'll be learning today but there's way more to mouse interactions but we, we will be learning that another in another video so yeah mainly consists of the basics of mouse x and mouse y and in order for these two functions to work we will want to use a uh, draw a uh, draw on um, draw equals function so draw function. okay mouse x and mouse y so we first want to make an ellipse for now we're using an ellipse and we want to type in the x coordinate and that will be mouse x because it controls the x position so we type in mouse x and same thing for mouse y and the we can you can edit the width and the height i'm just going to change it to 50 50 I'm gonna just move that around a little bit. I'm gonna give it a color. Let's say red. Yeah, but as you can see, nothing is moving. That is why we need to use a draw equals function in order for it to work. So yeah, as you can see here, it's moving now because you're drawing those red circles so you will want to use the draw equals function so yeah it's moving but if you guys do not want that to happen if you want just like the red dot to move you can also um just um write in a background so it will, it, so it will just um show the circle moving without any of that drag. So you want to type in background. It's just blue. Yay! It's moving now. Just a, just like a circle. So yeah, if you guys do not like, as you can see here, that little black stroke, you want to change the stroke. So below the fill. On the fill function, we want to use stroke, and then we can change that. Um, let's say white, and it'll turn white. In this case, just turn it red, so it can fit in. There we go. The stroke is gone. Um, another um quick note here: you can also use variables for this, like eighty one for the eighty one fifty. But you will want to write it outside the draw equals function. I think I mentioned this in the earlier video. Let's say a one. Okay, with the video height. 
we want to first write var with height n equals 50. So yeah, you can also um, name variables, but you have to write it outside the draw equals function. So yeah, that's basically what we'll be learning today. So this video has not yet hit at least nine minutes, I think. So for the sake of time, we will we we first want to do same. I'm just gonna show you show you guys what I've been doing with the mouse X and mouse Y projects I've been doing. So you can come my profile and view all you can see all my programs I've I've done all of my life in Can Academy ever since day one, which is was the ball face. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad back then. So, so yeah. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a project that I made that was actually one of my best ones about the um, about mouse X and mouse Y. So it's called a small game. I just named it that just cause. Don't ask. Okay. <laughs> um. So a small game. As you can see, I use many mouse click equals functions. So we will be learning. If you guys are basically puzzled about this or bewildered about it, um, mouse. We will be learning mouse click equals function in the next um video. And if you guys don't quick know, if you guys don't know what this slash n means, it means basically to like enter. So yeah. So small drawing game. So if you click on it, it says how to use this program. I made this. All you have to just make the perfect circle for you. Okay, thanks for playing. As you can see here, it changes the colors as you move it and it changes the size as you move as well. It's pretty cool. As you get further into the corner on the left side, it turns smaller. The right side turns bigger. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, share with all and share it to the public. And I noticed that um, I haven't really got any comments, and I'm sure that means that you guys perfectly understand what I'm teaching. So, if you guys have any questions, or like, want to say, or anything about these programs, or any of my projects, um, please write down a comment. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.